Tom here from Orange Systems, and we're going to talk about Zero Tier Global Area Networking. If you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button up at the top. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, there's some affiliate links down below for products and services that we talk about that get you some deals and discounts while helping out the channel. It's much appreciated. Zero Tier. Now, I'm not going to go in depth on this because I'll link to a video where I did go in depth on Zero Tier and talk about how it works, how it's a very unique product at it's a pretty amazing product as well i'm a, i'm a big fan of it it certainly solves a solution now this is not the same as a vpn zero tier does allow encrypted communication between two different clients via their global area networking system they have set up it's private and secure it is all open source it is a, essentially a form of an sd wan solution it does not require that you know a lot about firewalls or anything to set this up because this can be set up independently on each host. And it's a great solution if you're looking for an easy way to get remote access to things. Now, I've done videos on lots of different scenarios. I'll leave links to them, like from the how to get started with Zero Tier, how to build the network interfaces, um, how to do things like connect other Linux boxes with it. But we're gonna go Windows to Windows here because a lot of people are looking for easy ways to have it in their uh, work computer. And I'm gonna show you how to configure that and how to have it on their Home computer. Now, less than ideal situation here. I am going to be doing this as a demo on my gaming system at home. Um, whenever you're doing remote access from home to get to work, this is not necessarily best recommended practices. I just don't have any other Windows computers at home to do this demo on, except for my one I play games on. It's the only time I really use Windows. So let's get started here. So we have Zero Tier Central. I've got this demo network created called YouTube Demo Network. And I cover all the details of how to do it. You want to leave it as private. I'll go ahead and let it pick an address because we're not using too many addresses here, but there's a lot of options here if you want to do anything advanced and do routing. The idea, though, is we're going to take my home computer, which is already on here, and it's this one right here. This is the home computer. I've authorized it to be on there, and it has this IP address, and it's showing online. So let me move this out of the way and drag my home computer on there. So as you can see, this is my home computer and I'm using our remote control tool, the commercial one we use here at my office to connect to my home gaming computer. And you can see my home gaming computer has this IP address because we loaded the zero tier software and joined it right here. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to load the software and join it. Let me get this back out of the way. This is Screen Connect or ConnectWise Control. Um, and this is Tom's Steam Box. It's the computer I have at home. This is a demo computer here at my office that I've set up just for this purpose. This is a Windows running Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Pro, provided it's all set up properly and licensed, can have remote desktop turned on. So you go into remote desktop here, whoops, do a quick search and tell you, allow remote connections to this computer, show settings, remote, Allow, and the default, if you've just configured this out of the box, is don't allow. We want to make sure it says allow remote connections to this computer. Select users if you have multiple users on there, but by default, your user that you log in with is selected. So uh, make sure that's turned on. Now, as of right now, I've already downloaded into the downloads folder of zero tier, and we will show the IP address of this, IP config. And this is set up as 10.2.15 on my internal network here in my lab that I've set this up in as a demo. So my goal is I have to work from home and I want to get back to my Windows computer at work. And I don't have any options for VPN. VPNs to me are an ideal thing to do, but not always uh, feasible for some people. So we're going to load zero tier on my work computer. Already got it configured. The same process is on both sides, how we configure it. I just didn't feel like showing you twice uh, to keep the video a little bit shorter. You go to Zero Tier, get the free download. Uh, they give you for free a license up to 100 networks. Uh, they have details on all their pricing right here. Zero Tier is open source and free to use for most purposes, including personal use, internal use with a business or economic institution evaluation. Uh, uses that require more commercial licensing. They have everything broke down here. Their pricing is really inexpensive as well, um, like a dollar a month for one to 100 for some of them. So I won't go dwell on this much, but they do have all of those options on there, and it's a very affordable service. Back to launch zero tier one service. So we're going to go ahead and launch it and configure this. Say yes. Want to make sure this gets configured. And all right. Now at the bottom here, we have zero tier, but it's not joined anywhere. It's just on here. We have a node ID, but we have not 
joined anything as far as a network. And that's what we need to do is join this network. The network we're gonna join is this one here. Up to the top here. There's our network ID. Pretty straightforward. We can take this and we're gonna do a copy. So we wanted to join to this network. It's the same process I already did for this one right here. Over. And join. Now, what this did, because anyone can see this network, obviously, I'm just saying yes to the window behind me. What this did was, I'm going to watch this show up. And now we have this one, which we named home computer. And now we're going to authorize this on a network. So by the way, yes, I'll leave this available. And if anyone, and I've seen people do this uh, when I've done these demos before, anyone with that ID that I have showing publicly on the screen, the one at the top here, they would be able to join the network, but it doesn't allow them in because we have it set to private. So now we're gonna authorize it by just checking a box and call this work computer. And I should spell computer right. Work, O-M-P-U-T-E-R, there we go. And now it's authorized and online. And it's this ID right here is public. This is the difference between a public or private. When you have it set to private, only people with the ID um, can join as long as you also check the box inside of here. But with public, anyone with the ID, you don't have to authorize them. They can start joining your network and this would be a big security problem possibly for you. Uh, so something to keep in mind is that. So here we go, we got it set to private. We've got it authorized and it's just checking this little box here and that puts it online. So we did the IP config and we've seen this is the IP address of it. So now we can do IP config again and now we have two IP addresses. So 10.147.17.194 has been assigned to this computer and it's the same thing we see here. So here's where it's been assigned. Here's what's this IP address here. So now they're both connected via zero tier. So they have their other IP addresses and then they have their zero tier network adapter IP addresses. And now we can get them to talk to each other. So what we want to do is from this computer, the 10.147.17.16, which is the one, my gaming computer at home, we want to open up remote desktop to get connect to this IP address right here. So we're going to go bring this one back over and we're going to open up remote desktop protocol. And I forgot to copy the zero, there we go. So now we're connecting 10.147.17.194 is what we wanna to connect to. And we're gonna go ahead and show some options here because we gotta put a username. Okay, so we throw in the username. We'll hit connect. Prompts me for the password. Say yes, it's just saying there's no signed certificate, so we wanna make sure it does there. So now I'm remoted into my computer there, but now, there we go. As simple as that, I opened up no firewall rules. I now have remote desktop control over my computer at work. Well, the demo lab that we set up. Now, just so you know, this is what the screen turned into here. You can't see it anymore because it blinks it out. It's not a multi-user system where it allows multiple people to log in and share the desktop. But now I have remote desktop access. Now you can actually repeat this and load zero tier and build out your uh, network on this. But zero tier for the three tier is a great way to get this started. You don't have to have any firewall knowledge. I did not make any special settings in the firewall to make all this work. If you are though on a corporate network and it has very strict policy and filtering restrictions, you may have problems. But for most general networks, this works perfectly fine. And like I said, I'm using PF Sense actually on both ends, but I've done nothing to allow zero tier. Matter of fact, this lab computer that I'm remoted into is what they refer to as actually it's gonna be triple natted because of it's behind one side of a lab and another side of a lab and it's running a virtual box. So um, even though it's got multiple NAT layers in between, you're able to see I'm completely able to use this computer remotely uh, through remote desktop protocol and no problems, didn't have to open up any firewall rules, didn't have to make any strange changes, and the free tier will work. And they give you quite a bit on the free tier. Uh, if you need to learn more about how zero tier works, I'll leave links to my videos I did previously on it. Like I said, it's a strong, solid product for uh, using it in a lot of different ways, but zero tier works on a lot of different devices, including your phone, including uh, 
just a, a whole list of different things because it supports Linux, BSD, and lots of different tools. So you can expand out uh, and build out a private network like this with zero tier. So I'll be doing some future videos on it as well. So I know a lot of people right here in March of 2020, there's a high demand on remote access and ways to configure it and ways to get up and running fast. Zero tier is a solution I'm going to suggest that's a really solid one to get going with. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.